Today I'm going to show you how to use DOSBox to run uh, DOS games on your non-DOS computer. Now, props to this shoot tutorial for uh, Texela because they helped me to find out about an awesome application called DOSBox, which you can get free from DOSBox.com. Now, this app is available for Windows OS 10 and um, Linux so pretty much every operating system is covered in some way shape or form um, now I'm going to be showing you on an OS 10 so yeah um, now what you'll first need to do is to get the DOS game now it's not technically legal to uh, download it but virtually all the DOS games are available for download and um, these these games were out well before I was born uh, so I don't have the discs so I've downloaded them just for demonstration purposes but um, I'm sure you can find your own ways to, to download them by searching around Google um, so I'm just going to demonstrate where I've got these uh, files stored. Um, I've got them in my root drive, which for Windows users would be the C drive, and then I've got them in a folder called DOSBox, and um, and then I've got in a folder called A, and then I've got it in a folder called Install. The HD drive is there, is there for a minute, and then if you pay pay close attention to this path. So it goes root drive, DOS box, A, and install. You can uh, put them wherever you want. You just need to remember the path. Um, so once you have all the files, um, you're going to need to get DOS box, which you can get from dosbox.com, uh, which, if you look here, is an open source project. Um, so now I'm going to be showing you how to do it. First, we need to mount an A drive because A is a floppy drive and DOS games you can install from floppies. So we need to type mount A. Um, and then we need to go to the directory. So I had it if you can remember from here in my root drive which was my my hd and in windows i need to type forward slash um on on mac I need to type forward slash on windows you type c colon backslash um so i've got my root drive and then i had it in a folder called dos dos box and then I had another folder if you can remember called A um, and then I had a folder called in store But all that path means is it's essentially the path that you need mounting as a floppy disk for it to install. So if you've downloaded the files to somewhere else, you need to navigate to that path in there. Uh, so I'm just going to press enter. And as it says, drive A is mounted to that folder. So that folder has now become a floppy disk. So now we need to mount a hard drive and in Windows traditionally um, all hard drives are C drives so I'm just going to type mount C and then I'm going to type the directory that I want to be mounted as a C drive so I'm just going to use hold on 
Sorry for this, guys. DOS box um slash a and then slash h d now if you look that um if we go back to that folder where the h d folder is that's an empty folder that i've created for all the files to be to be installed in so if we go back to DOSBox and press enter it says drive c is mounted to that directory and you could go on doing that for all the folders that your game needed now the the, the um game that i've downloaded what i've downloaded is not actually the install discs it is the actual game so i don't i don't need to install to another drive so i can just go straight to a so i'm going to type a and then here it says a and then you'll need to find out what thing you need to run in order for it to install so I know what my file name is and it's install even though I don't need to install anything um, and then all I need to do is hit play and then, as you can see, the game's running. Now, a lot of these games, you won't be able to get s sound to function um, because of the way the games are written. But, because I'm on the Mac, the hardware configuration is pretty uniform, so the DOSBox guys have been able to, to make most games recognise as the sound card. So now I'm in the DOS box um, and as you can see I've got mouse control so I'm just going to play one mission to show you and I'm just going to hit go and then the game's going to play it's just showing you. And now gonna play as you can see I can select anything that I wish to and just play the game like I would have done normally if this had been a DOS computer but what happens if I want to exit DOS box because I can't just exit out because that mouse has got my control so I need to press Q I need to go here and press Q and then press return to um sorry about this guys forgot about that so you just need to exit the game because I'm just going to quit and actually this part will vary now once once you're back at the DOS prompt to exit out because that's still got control in your mouse you're just going to type exit and then as you can see I've got control of the mouse back again so I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope it's helped you I hope you haven't been too confused by it and thanks for watching and please subscribe comment and rate thanks for watching